thank you thank you all uh, for joining the session disclaimer this video is for educational and information purpose only index and stock talked about in this video are used as examples this video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose so the last video like we learned more about uh, option selling like we used short straddle and short strangle and how was the performance in the past one and a half years where it does not perform like it does not perform good so on that case like we have given an alternate solution for it as well so those who missed out the early video so watch out the uh, the fourth video over here the content tutorial 004 just watch out the video then you will understand the very basics of the option selling so in today's session like uh, we are going to understand one step ahead uh, like we are going to discuss something where we are going to do an adjustment okay so first i'll start with adjustments because adjustments will be used by both the option buyers as well as option sellers and then i'll go ahead with the trading stop loss mode to cause re-entry and re-execute so this is going to be the agenda for today's session because uh, once we're done with that right so like we'll be able to cover almost everything on the create strategy page okay everything we have covered on the create strategy page okay so now let me just start with the back testing uh i'm just going to do a a base of uh, the option selling strategy which is nothing but a 920 short straddle or a strangle okay on the other hand let me just uh, bring out the which strategy worked good right so uh, the indicator based option selling strategies have worked good so now i just put uh, williams r plus adx okay that is what we have used for option selling and 100 premium Strangle. Okay, that is what I'm going to use. And uh, now, what I'm going to do is like instrument. I'm going to use Bank Nifty. See, the same can be used for Fin Nifty as well as uh, like everything. Okay, so uh, if you guys uh, have a view, let me just show you the strategies like whatever I have done till now. Okay, see, I'm just using the same strategy. You can just watch out. Like uh, there were two, three trades has been taken on the expiry day. Uh, the first trade lost almost like 2000 3000 and then it one trade made 5000 and it came to cumulative profit the fin nifty over here uh, the first trade went on a profit of 12000 rupees and the second trade went on a loss of uh, 1240 but this was totally my my mistake i have not stopped the strategy and after that i just corrected what were the mistake i have done okay you will just notice one thing like uh, i just uh, so i just got the entire premium okay so this strategy involves uh, with different sort of adjustments okay so i'm going to teach you the same strategy like what i have created over here okay so this will add like more value but this i'm just using this strategy only for expiry the same strategy i just deployed for this is for nifty this is for uh, no this is not for nifty i think so wait 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 oh uh, yeah so this is for fin nifty fn fin nifty this is B and Bank Nifty, and this is for Nifty. So Nifty, you see, like I lost 6,000, 2,000, and here 4,000, 5,000 profit, and 1,000, like 2,000, and 1,200 rupees of profitability over here. So only this is on the expiry day, only on the expiry. So three expiry days I'm just doing, and mid cap will be added shortly in uh, in Quantman. So I'll be doing the other one, uh, other one, the mid cap Nifty. And then uh, I'll be skipping the Friday session. Okay, this is what the plan, what I have personally. Okay, option selling has unlimited loss. Don't worry, I'm just, I will give you the explanation what I'm doing over here. Okay, so now let me just put it on the other way. As, as people say, it's an unlimited risk. Okay, so I'll just showcase what are the strategy I have defined over here. You can just see, I'll just put it on copy edit so that you can understand clearly. Okay. See, I just sold, you see, I sold a ATM call option, OTM call option, OTM one, I just sold and I bought OTM two. Okay. So six, six lots, I sold it over here and 12 lots, I bought it over here. Now you guys tell me whether this strategy is having an unlimited risk. Whether this strategy has unlimited risk no never okay see this strategy i have not only use using it for the recent time so this has been like a very long time just using this strategy okay so uh, but a lot of uh like it's i just back testing not back testing i've been forward testing this strategy from the year uh, from the uh, from the month of april onwards because this is totally new and uh, from april only i just started doing this particular strategy okay so now um, 
I will just, but it works very good on the expiry date. It works very good on the expiry date. Now, let me just come back over here and uh, we just create the strategy. Okay, so I just selected Bank Nifty over here and the same can be used for Nifty as well as Bank Nifty as well as Fin Nifty. Okay, the, what are the two indicators I'm going to use? The one is the ADX. ADX is an overlay indicator or underlay indicator. Come on guys, type answers in chat box. And I just use the same one minute time frame. I'm going to use three minutes time frame as well. Okay. And then I put Williams R. See, the Williams R is one of the superb indicator as I explained in the last week. Okay. So uh, it identifies the highest premium of short straddle and strangle. Okay. So that's, that's something very crazy like what I personally understood. Okay. So now we have like uh, two, uh, two set like ADX as well as Williams R over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just click on entry when uh, when I'm going to take my entry whenever my ADX is below 30. ADX above 30, option selling is not working. And my Williams are crosses above minus 85. Okay. And just you guys notice one thing. I have a set of two. If it comes to Nifty, I have 0102. Uh, fin, uh, bank nifty i have 0102 fin nifty i have 0102 like why i have just using like two instead of one okay so it's, it's very simple here i used williams are you can see williams are crosses above minus 85 on the other hand i just use crosses below minus 15 okay so these are the two cases what i'm just using because either one will give profit and that is what i explained okay so here it made profit on the other hand it cleared stop loss two times. Continuously, it stop, cleared stop loss two times. And one thing, whether expiry is a defined event or a non-defined event. Expiry is a defined event or a non-defined event. Exactly. Expiry is a defined event. On that aspect, it has to become zero, right? There is no other option. Okay, so if I'm taking three trades, I'm 100% sure any one trade will click for me. Any one trade will click for me. On the other hand, let me just examine what happened on uh, this one, Nifty. See, Nifty, I just taken all the three trades loss. Here, all the three trades loss. And why this loss has happened? It was a very, very wild day which happened on what day? In the last last bank nifty expense thursday everyone know how volatile it was and just imagine first trade taken at 394 exited at 390 sorry uh, 334 exited at 338 four minutes katam ho gaya. Katam. the stop loss cleared okay and see the second uh, and over here we can just notice the second trade you just see over here what happened see in how many seconds the trade has cleared by stop loss of 2000 rupees? Taken at 10.05, exited at 10.05.21. In how many seconds I have lost 2000 rupees? Come on guys, post it in chat box. In how many seconds? In just 21 seconds, done. See, this is how the option selling used to work. And I'm pretty sure I lost this all these three trades, but we have expiries on three days. We have expiries on three days. Obviously, if there is an expiry on three days, then any one day it's going to be a silent day. And on that silent day, you can make money like this, like 12,000 rupees. Just see, like every every individual strikes has become zero. Every individual strikes has become zero. Okay. So this, this is what like you guys need to understand. Okay. So the, hence it's a defined event. We can take a risk and then we can do it. Okay. So we need to use both the crosses above as well as the crosses below option. Whenever it's going to be crosses below, use minus 15. Okay. And exit. I don't have any exit plan over here. You can just notice one thing. I don't have any sort of exit plan over here. Okay. Did it then how do you exit? Okay, there comes a question, right? Don't worry. There is something, uh, something uh, like we need to do it externally. Okay, what is externally? What you're going to teach from Quantman? Just wait. I'm going to explain you a lot of things, okay, which I have not disclosed in any of my videos uh, in YouTube. Why? Because 
After doing that, I have not uploaded any videos. That's the reason why I'm not exposed to the thing, what I'm using in personal. Okay. So um, exit when I'm not using any exit when over here. Now I just select weekly expiry. Okay. So I'm not going to select week monthly expiry. And uh, I'm going to select premium based ex uh, like strike selection. I just remove the striding stop loss, call, and then put, add a leg, call and put, sell both the legs, sell both the legs. And uh, I just uh, don't put any, okay, let me just put some stop loss and then check it. I put 60% stop loss over here and I add another two legs, call and put. And I sell both, I put 30% stop loss. So in the leg, I use 30% stop loss. I'm making profit because of delta or theta. Okay, I'm speaking profit because of delta. On the legs, which I use 60 percentage, I mean making profit with the help of theta or delta. With the, on the leg of 60 percentage of stop loss, exactly. I'm making profit over here by theta. Here, I'm making it profit through delta. Okay, so now um, I just put 100, 100 premium, 101, 101. So what the new engine used to take over here in Quantman, it's going to take the trade on the same strike. Even if you put 100, 101, it's going to take the same strike. In the early engine, in V1 engine, it used to take the higher strike. If it is putting 100, right? If it selects 100 premium, then this 101 will, stick, will take the above strike. Okay. So it will take uh, like one step in the money. Okay. So now this is a base what I have done. Okay. So nothing I have just changed over here. Dun, 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 dun. So only one trade a day, that's it done. Uh, and then I just run the back testing. Okay, so let the back testing results pop out. Okay, so what's the slippage value I need to put over here? What's the slippage value I need to put over here? 0.5 percentage okay so now this is what like we have understood this strategy has performed good in the period of september 2021 that is september 2021 okay from so september 2021 this strategy has performed good okay and why i say the value september 2021 because from the month of september 2021 all the option selling strategy stopped working Okay, the basic strategies like 920 short straddle and strangles, those strategies has performed very, 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 very bad. Okay, so now let me just take out the examples like what we have explained last week. Okay, so uh, we can see over here, I put 0.5 percentage of slippage and this is where it comes out. So from September 2021, the basic strategies like 920 short strategy and strangle has not performed good. On the other hand, the same, the similar sort of strategy. Okay, so we just take it from the month of 2021 September, we can see this strategy has performed. Okay, and this is why we just uh, want to use this sort of indicator based trading strategies. Okay. So this is for option selling also, we just use the same. Okay, so now let me just uh, go ahead and then define the, uh, this, is, this is what we have discussed in the early sessions. Okay, so now what I'm planning is, I want to do some adjustments. Okay, I want to do some adjustments. Okay, in order to make this strategy has more profitable. Okay, so I just uh, copy and edit the same strategy. And then I'm going to provide ADJ, a one adjustment one so i click on add adjustments over here i once i click on add adjustments so now what i'm going to do is on which leg i need to do the adjustment first thing is going to be on which leg i'm going to do the adjustments okay so in order to understand more about adjustment first i click on edit option over here because till now we have used this entry when exit when okay on the adjustments similarly we have adjust when so when to adjust? So once I click on edit, 
Now you can see I have the indicator values over here. The what are the indicators are added over and the up, right? So I have the same things. And I have the individual, the first leg stop loss percentage, the first leg stop gain percentage. Okay, so if we okay, now let me just put it on the other way. I just sold a hundred rupees call option. I just sold a hundred rupees call option. So whenever it comes to first leg option, like stop loss percentage, so it goes to 20 percentage of stop loss. What I say, if my 100 rupees of premium goes to 20 percentage of stop loss, I need to sell an another 100 rupees call option. Okay, at what value now the adjustment will happen? At what X value the adjustment will happen? I said, whenever the first leg reaches 20 percentage of loss, I'm going to sell an another call option with 100 premium. Exactly, it's going to be 120. Okay, at 120, I'll be placing. Okay, so similarly, and similarly, I just sold a 100 rupees call option. And I say, the first leg stop loss gain, stop gain, you just mark the word stop gain, is 20 percentage, is about 20 percentage. Then, at what point the adjustment will happen? At what point the adjustment will happen? Adjustment will happen at 80. Exactly. That's crazy. Okay. So these are the two things like whatever we have used. And now what I do, like we'll just take up like one, two, three, four. Like we have four legs, right? For all the four legs, we have a similar format. And another important thing comes over here. Strategy stop loss percentage. Strategy target profit. What it means. Strategy stop loss, strategy target profit. What it means? What it means? Now here comes the secret what I've been using from the month of April till now. It's not secret. It's a testing process like what I have done. Okay. I have burnt a lot on this particular analysis as well as testing like whatever I have done. Okay, I, I, I'm not. I'm not lost. I'm not. I, I'm not lost. Something very small. I lost something very big, but it's always the knowledge. What I I personally believe that's that's my wealth. Okay, so now uh, this is Insta options. Maybe like those who are using Quantman uh, or those who are uh, with traveling with me for a very long time, they know about this tool. This is one of the tool like what Quantman has recently uh, launched. Okay. So it has one of the feature which is known as uh, like there are like many features over here on this particular thing. And uh, we go to strategy tab like where we, we have one option which is known as combined premium chart. Okay. So here is where everything happens. Okay. Um, you can just have a strangle over here. Say like 100 rupees of strangle over here. Can you see what happened on Friday? Did you see any erosion over here? Okay, if you are an option seller, is there any possibility that you could make profit over here? If you are an option seller, is it possible for you to make profit over here? Come on guys, type your answers in chat box. No. So uh, actually, it, it is not Quantman. It is it is a product of Quantman. Okay, it's known as Insta Options. Okay, it's just Insta I N S T A Insta Options. T I O N S Insta Options. Okay, you can just Google Insta Options. Like so, you can just put it on option trading. Okay, so uh, sorry. You can just go to uh, YouTube and then put Insta options. Then I like I have given some intro video for fires and the Insta option is over here. Just watch out this 34 minutes of video. You can understand more about it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just uh, going to option data. Uh, I want to do a short straddle. I want to do a short strategy. Okay, so Fin Nifty has the near expiry, right? I just take the Fin Nifty. 
and uh, I'm going to sell a premium where I have a 30 rupees of premium on call side, on put side, and 30 rupees of premium on the call side. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell both of this. And then I click on analyze. Okay, so from the option chain data, I just go directly to analyze. And now it just takes me to this page. Okay. Okay, so now let me just put, uh, so what are the strategy we have created? No, we just put the same uh, because that might, that should be good, I think. So as I said earlier, so I'm going to sell a, a call option, a put op call option, put option near to 100 premium. I'm selling this strike. Uh, sorry, I'm just selling this strike. Okay, just, a, oh, so it's just added to value. Okay, the 100 strike I'm selling, this strike also I'm selling, and then I sell this strike, and then I sell this strike. Okay, so now I just sold all the four strikes. The app, uh, uh, like as of now, the app is not there. I just sold all the strikes and then click on analyze. Now it will just take me a page where it looks like this. Okay, this is what, okay, uh, this is what it just looks like. Okay, then click on combined premium chart. Then click on combined premium chart. Okay. And the minimum time frame, like what I personally suggest is to use three minutes or a five minutes time frame. Okay. Three minutes or a five minutes time frame. Okay. So hence this day was not that much uh, good. Okay. So let it be. So let me just take the same day. Okay. So if it is an expiry day, it will be like eroding like this. Like it will be coming like this. Okay. Let me just try to get like last expiry chart. Okay, I do have a screenshot, I think so. Uh, let me just try to bring it for you. Just give me a moment. Because last Friday, it was crazy day. Where we were not able to make it, right? Last, not last Friday. Yesterday. Yeah. Excellent. I, I, I do have it. I do have it. Okay. So where is it? Yeah. Synchronizing all data. Just give me a moment. Sorry for making you to wait, but this is one of the very, very, uh, very, very important thing. Like what I personally understood, because in the recent times, you no know, stop loss hunting has become like very, very common. Okay, that is why I literally stopped using stop loss. Okay, you just, you just see, I don't have stop loss on any of the strategies what I put over here. No stop loss. Okay, no stop loss. But I have a but I have an exit plan over there. What's the exit plan? Stop loss 20 percentage of the premium. Okay, see what is the collected premium? The strategy stop, the strategy gain. There are two points that is what we are just trying to discuss. Okay, so that's what we are going to try. We are we are trying to discuss strategy, stop loss percentage, and strategy target profit. Okay. So now that's what we're just trying to learn. Uh, okay, I just got it. Okay, this was a WhatsApp image. I don't okay. So this was this was like Finifty last expiry, the eleven thousand profit I showed, right? I just got my entry exactly at this level. Okay, at seven hundred. Okay, 700 cents, it's a cumulative premium. From there, all the way it came to 400, maybe like it was at what time? Uh, it was at 11.20. It all the way came came over here. And see like what, how I used to take my trades, no? Like I'll be exiting my trade whenever it is above the super trend. I just combine the premium of all the legs. You see, I have combined the premium of this leg, this, 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 this this six legs premium i combined and just watch it as a single i just watch it as a single chart 
and I just take my exit over here, entry over here, exit over here, entry over here, and exit over here. Okay, entry over here. Actually, this has been um, uh, I just got entry, fortunate entry over here. Okay, and then uh, like I just follow my exit based upon this super trend. Okay, so as you see, like if it is below over here, it all the way went from 500 level. It all the way went to the level of 50, 50 rupees of premium because I had 10 rupees of one premium, which is in the money option. Okay, so this is one of the very advanced thing and this will be uh, like this, this feature will be available in V2. And that is why I say like V2 engine is one of the powerful engine where like we can, like we can, we'll be able to understand like more so, like because um, see the trialing stop loss, move to cause, re-entry, re, re these are these are not working in the real market. And that is why like we, we need to look for some different concerns. Okay. We need to understand for a different concern, different perspective as well. Okay. So how many of you have ever tried this combined premium? How many of you have ever tried combined premium? Come on guys, type your answers in chat box. And see, you have the power to look combining all these uh, individual premiums. Okay. How this 392 value comes? How this value of 392 comes okay it just sums up the value and plot it as a single chart i'll plot it as a single chart and on that you put super trend engine you just drive it it will it will make some crazy concern okay and i'll just show you something okay so uh, okay so now on this case now you understand the strategy premium okay what is the strategy premium Combining all this is the strategy premium. Combining all this is the strategy premium. So now what is the strategy premium? What is the strategy premium? Come on guys. Uh, okay, so let me just zoom it. Okay, you guys. Uh, so we have, yeah, so 392.9 is the combined premium. Okay, so 392.9, uh, okay, let me just keep it as 393. Okay, so on which what I say, if this premium goes to 400, which means that I'll be in loss or I'll be in profit. If this 392 goes to 400, I'll be in profit or I'll be in loss. Come on, guys. Because like uh, I may take some time because I want you guys to understand it and then do it. Okay. Because option selling is not like the early days. It is, it is getting very, very tough. Okay. Is it possible to combine premium with VWAP indicator? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. I'll just show you. Don't worry. Okay, I, I, I'm, I, I have the VWAP over here, the blue line. I'm going to explain that next. Don't worry. Okay, so now we have 393 premium over here. Okay, if it goes to 400, which means that the premium has increased, so I'll be in loss. Okay, so what I say, plus 10 percentage. If my, if my premium uh adds up sums up to an another 10 percentage i want to do an adjustment okay i want to do an adjustment okay so if it uh if from 393 if the combined premium if the combined premium goes to if the combined premium goes to 432 which is 10 percentage of the premium what i collected i'm going to add another straddle i'm going to sell an ATM call and then plus an ATM put. I'm going to do this. Okay, so like this, we can just write an adjustment. So now I hope so, like each and everyone understood what the value means over here, like the value strategy stop loss and strategy take profit. Did you guys understand what the strategy stop loss and strategy take profit? And take profit is going to be very simple. If my if my 400 rupees of collected premium, I say, if it comes by, okay, so what I say, my strategy staff target is equal to or above 10, I just given it. Okay, now my adjustment will happen at what premium? I just say, I enter my trade at 400 rupees of premium. I say, my strategy target profit uh, is 10 percentage when my adjustment will take. When my adjustment will take. Exactly, my adjustment will take at 360. Superb, guys. I, I, I just believe that you guys understood. 
Okay, it just takes trade at 360. Okay, hope you understand it, right? That's awesome. Okay, see, now I just made you guys to understand what are the things which is available in the adjustment tab. Okay, so now I'm going to give you some conditions. Okay, and you guys are going to direct me to create the adjustment strategies. Okay, so let me just do it for the uh, do it for the expiry day or the normal day. Which one you guys want? It is totally your call. You guys suggest me what to do. You want me to do it for expiry day or normal day? Come on, the maximum I'll just take it. Okay. First, I'll just do it for expiry day. Okay, a small shout out um, for those who use Quantman. Okay, everyone is a user of Quantman. Okay, if you want to buy a plan, you can just use the code web10. Okay, so don't give any gap over here. Web10, you'll be getting 10% of discount on monthly as well as quarterly as well as annual plans. Okay, so uh, if you want to buy a plan, you can just use the code web10. I'll just post it on the chat box. Okay, thank you. So now let me just go ahead and then move and we create a strategy for expiry date. Okay, for expiry day, what I do, I just delete all these things. I don't want uh, any of this thing. Okay, for expiry day, what's the another condition I need to add? I need to add a condition. What condition I need to add in order to select it as expiry date? Okay, come on guys. Uh, no, uh, Sanjit, like uh, it is not there in the basic plan. Okay, so it's uh, on premium plan alone, it, it's a has. What I need to select exactly day to expiry is equal to zero. Day to expiry is equal to zero. Just save it. Okay, so now I said like uh, it's going to be zero and then I save it. And uh, I just don't want to see on my experience what I say. I don't want to take my trade. Okay, I don't want to take my trade uh, above the time of 2 o'clock. On expiry day, above 2 o'clock, we hardly find 5, pre 5 premium or 10 premium. So don't want to take trade after, 10, after 2 o'clock. Okay, if time of the day is below uh, 14, done. Okay, if the time of the day is below 14, I'm just going to take my trade. Okay, so now, see, combined premium is totally free for each and every user. Okay, so you don't need to pay anything for the combined premium charts. Okay, you don't need to pay anything for using insta options. Okay, that's fine. So now, uh, like I just given the basic condition. Okay, and then what I say, I don't want to have my exit plan over here. Okay, so why I'm just doing this only on expiry day? Expiry is a defined event. The OTM and ATM need to become what at expiry? The ATM and OTM need to become what at expiry? It need to become zero at expiry. Okay, someone comes with 0 0.05, exactly. Okay, so it comes to zero at the expiry. Okay, so now, I just select weekly expiry, but over here we don't use the premium base. We use the strike price, okay, spot based strike selection. Okay, so first what I do, I add six legs. Okay, now there's there will be a question. Okay, Didi, why can't I do with single leg, two legs, like a two legs or four leg? Why you want me to put uh, like six legs? Okay, see, uh, like we need to have some sort of iron condo in order to make it more profitable. Okay, so that these are like based upon experience. Okay, so I selected call option, three call option, and three put option. Okay, so all we going to use over here, uh, like you can see, no stop loss I have just added. I just sell, um, like I'm just going to buy one leg, sell two legs in call and put, and then buy one leg. Okay, so ATM call option, and then I'm going to sell OTM call option, and then I'm going to by the OTM2 option. Okay, so I select OTM1, I'm going to sell it. And then OTM2, I'm just going to buy it. Now, what is the strategy? What is this strategy? Okay, what is the strategy? 
it's like a butterfly or iron condor okay so how it exactly looks like okay so now i just go to option data and then what i do i sell sell this actually my camera is hiding okay <laughs> that's why i sell this i sell this i buy this uh, but do this only on expiry date don't do it on other days on other days there is different strategy sell this sell this buy this and then click on analyze so now this is how it looks like this is how it looks like okay so uh, actually this is not how it looks like because i just bought two legs over here and two legs over here okay this is how it exactly looks like okay this is how it exactly looks like and what happens you know while i use minus 85 crosses above minus 85 and uh, crosses below minus 15 one time one strike like this will be selected and another time the strike this strike will be selected so i get a wider range over here i get a wider range over here and on expiry it will be covering near to 1 sd okay uh, yeah like obviously this session will be record is, is recorded and it will be uploaded on in uh, option school youtube channel don't worry okay so that is why i use both the cases because while i started doing this i used only one then i noticed one thing one strike away it becomes zero or this strike becomes zero whatever i am using no that becomes loss hope you guys understand okay this this happens with everyone right either your below strike will become zero either your above strike will become zero whatever the strike you have will not become zero okay and that is why i use two character uh, on minus 85 and minus 15 now you guys understood why i just use two two strategy for expiry day you guys understood why I used two strategies 01, 02 on expiry day? Yes or no? Type your answers in chat box. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I do think so. It is quite complicated. Okay, so uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, I just try to do one sort of live session so that uh, you guys can understand it quite clearly okay so maybe like uh, this is totally uh, this is the first time I'm, I'm introducing you guys to the combined premium charts okay so it may look quite awkward so don't worry like uh, definitely it will be helpful for you okay just give me some time and uh, down the line you will understand things clearly okay as of now it is quite difficult okay so to be, be with me to some extent okay so now I just sold two strikes and bought uh, one strike with two lots. I put two lots over here. I put two lots over here. Okay. So in uh, right now, do I, uh, okay. So I just define my strategy. This strategy has a defined loss or an undefined loss. This strategy has a defined loss or an undefined loss. Okay, it has a defined loss. Okay, now what will be the amount required? Okay, what will be the amount required for taking this strategy? Come on, guys. Any, anyone can give a guess. How much? How much will take for the strategy? Around 1 lakh. Exactly. Around 1 lakh. Like actually, I'm, I'm just saying the higher number. Around 1 lakh is far, far, far enough. Because I put 6 slots. And the maximum consumption is only 5.7 lakhs. Okay. The base, what I put, you can just see over here. I use 6, 6 slots. For 6, 6 slots, it consumes 5 lakhs 70,000 after all adjustments. After all adjustments, 5 lakhs 70,000. So, like, uh, like to, to some extent, if you're putting only one lot, then you can use uh, definitely 1 lakh rupees is far, far enough. Okay, but do it only on some uh, free broker account. Okay, don't use it on uh, like any any broker who has to charge it. Okay, because you need to take six entries and uh, just imagine like how much brokerage will go for you. Okay, so I'll just showcase and examine. Uh, so here all the entries have been taken. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
So I have almost like eight legs over here. Okay, but see, like, don't don't worry. Like, uh, even though it is eight legs, okay, but you put six slots. If you put six slots, it is not going to be cost you more. Okay, even if you're doing it on some brokers who charges 20 rupees also, this is not going to be big because uh, because of your lot size. See, once you increase the lot size, you will never look into the brokerage and other stuffs. Okay, so fine. So now this is what the base. I have done so now this strategy has a complete uh, uh, it does not have the unlimited risk opportunity okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a stop loss strategy stop okay so i say 20 percentage of the collected premium okay in this case i have collected okay so here i have an okay i just put it over here i have a hundred premium 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 over here. I have ten premium over here. I have ten premium over here. What is my combined premium? What is my combined premium? Okay, so it's it's going to be max class once again. Why different different answer? Three sixty, four twenty, four twenty, three eighty, four forty, three eighty. Why this many variations? Okay, so now, what's the first thing we are going to do? sum up all these okay once you sum up all this we get 400 on selling side we got credit we, we got a credit of 400 cr one okay for cr okay once we sell an option we will get a credit or a debit once we sell an option we will get a credit or a debit we will get a credit okay so i have a 400 points of credit Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to buy two lots. J just mark this. I'm going to buy two lots of 10, 10 premium. So which means 10 into 2, 20 over here and 20 over here. So a debit of 40 premium. Debit of 40 premium. Now you just combine this. You get 360 is your combined premium is your combined premium okay so now you guys understood right so what i do either i can put my stop loss percentage 20 now how it calculates the value it just takes a quantman as an engine right now takes this combined premium and if you put 20 percentage on the strategy stop it will calculate it and then it will clear your stop loss. So now I say 360 is my value. What will be my 20 percentage of stop loss? At if it if this combined premium goes to what level, my strategy will be cleared. Okay, it's going to be 360 plus 70 percentage. Sorry, 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 sorry. 20 percentage. 360 plus 20 percentage which is going to be 432 okay if my combined premium if my combined premium goes to the level of 433 what are the strategy i use okay then i will exit the uh, uh, quantman will exit the order quantman will exit the order so now you guys are going to guess what happened on the strategy uh, over here Nifty. Okay. So what could be the case would have happened over here? In this strategy, you see, in 21 seconds, it cleared my stop loss. Okay. So my exit would be at what point? Why my exit has happened? It's because of the stop loss or it's because of the percentage what we have given. Why it has cleared? It's the 20 percentage combined premium. It's a 20 percentage combined premium. Okay. I hope you guys understood. Okay. This is how the exit happens. Okay. So now this is one step, one way I can just provide it. This is one day, one way I can provide it. And what about take profit? Will I need to give a take profit or I can just leave it? Or I can just leave it. Just leave it. No need of booking the profit. 
no need of booking a profit okay see whenever you lose okay so like right now we have we have three entries on minus 85 and we have three entries on minus 15 on williams r based out of williams r based out of williams r so what is the probability no voice please check yourself okay so what is the probability for you to make profit on this particular six trades on an expiry day on a defined event what is the probability that you have that you will make profit what is the probability okay your probability say like 50 percentage we will keep it you have 50 50 chance okay but while you're losing while you're losing you lose 20 percentage okay while you're losing you lose 20 percentage okay but while you're getting profit how much you will get how much you will get you get the entire 100 percentage because it's a defined event because it is a defined event hope you guys understand it right it's a defined event and now you are risking 20 to get 100 now what is the risk reward 1 is to 5 okay 1 is to 5 and now now let me just examine what exactly happened this week okay what exactly happened this week we can see the fin nifty i just lost two trades okay two trades i lost and this one trade i made big money okay this is on what minus 15 minus 15 this week has made only one profit two losses on the other hand my minus 85 you see the minus 85 what my, my minus 85 has done one trade it gave me the entire profit see whatever i sold you see 65 i sold it came to 59 i sold at 78 it came to 10 okay just see just imagine 10 just the 10,000 rupees come out over here. 6,000 rupees come out over here. Okay. Yes, see, like, uh, like it is suggested to take multiple entries. That is how I'm personally doing it. Because like I have done a lot of research on this. And I understood one thing. It is very good on the expiry day. It is very good on the expiry. So now I want to exit the trade instead of my strategy stop loss of giving 20%. Okay. Instead of touching the nose like this. I want to take my hand like this and what I want to touch my nose. Okay. So now how, how can I do this with adjustments? It's going to be simple. Just click over here and I say my strategy stop loss percentage is equal to or above 20 percentage. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on modify existing leg. Okay. See here you have two options on the transaction details. Either you can add a new leg or you can exit the uh, like current leg. Okay, what are the legs you have right now? You can modify it. So what I put, I, put, I select option. Okay, so we have only one option, select option. And then we have the leg one. The leg one is the OTM2 of call option. And action is close the leg or move to cost actually we don't have the move to cost over here because we don't use any stop loss over here then just click on move to cost then i say option i say i click six legs for all of them i just select options and then i select leg one leg two leg three leg four leg five and then leg six i'm going to close all the leg I'm going to close all the leg. I just removed this strategy stop loss over here. Is it the same? Is it the same? Exactly. It's, it's, this is the same strategy. Okay. If you put 20 over here or if you put 20 over here, both are going to be the same. Okay. So now, now what happens? 
okay i'm going to do some sort of uh adjust different sort of adjustment so this right now you guys understood this okay or else if i want to book profit if i want to book profit of once uh, 20 percentage of the premium comes right i am just going to book my profit just do this strategy target profit 20 is equal to about 20 percentage close all the leg close all the leg this is what we understood first okay so now i just delete this i just don't want because you guys understood what strategy strategy loss and take profit okay you can give it on percentage terms as well if you give percentage terms it will take the combined premium. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on add adjustments. I'm going to click on add adjustment and then click on edit and then click on edit option. Then you can click over here. Then you can click over here. And then what I'm going to do is, whenever, whenever my, okay. So out of these leg, which leg has the higher impact? Out of these leg, the one is zero to uh, one is OTM two, OTM one. Okay, so out of this leg, which has a higher impact? Come on, guys. We have 170 participants. Please, please, please type your answers in chat box. Make it fast. This is one of the very important questions. This is going to be very, very important question. Which leg has the highest impact? The leg three and the leg four has the highest impact. Okay, the leg three and the leg four has the highest impact. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, whenever, okay, so now I just put it over here. I just sold it at 100. I just sold it at 100. Okay, so what I say, what I say, if my third leg, the ATM of call option, the third leg, stop gain, equal to 50 percentage okay my second leg stop loss gain is equal to 50 percentage okay so when will the adjustment will happen if for this leg When the adjustment will happen, I said, oh, sorry, it's a third leg. Sorry, I just put second leg. Third leg. Third leg gain uh, equal to 50 percentage. And then I save it. So, see, I put stop gain, not the stop loss. I put stop gain, mark the word. Then at what point the adjustment will happen? At what point the adjustment will happen? Okay. So at if this premium comes to 50, if this premium comes to 50, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more legs. One is call, the other one is also call. Okay, I'm going to add two legs. One is called, the other one is also called. But I'm just going to sell one leg i'm going to buy one leg otm sorry atm i'm going to sell it and otm2 i'm going to buy it what the strategy is what the strategy is i'm selling atm and i'm buying otm2 what this is it's a call spread exactly it's a call spread i don't want stop loss over here because this is also a defined strategy okay and now you guys justify me you guys justify me why I just sold 100 over here. I just sold 100 over here. If this comes to 50 premium, why I want to add an ATM and an OTM buy? Oh, I'm going to sell over here. I'm going to add, um, add a buy over here. What I'm, what I'm literally trying to do, what I'm trying to literally trying to do, I'm not locking the profit. Uh, gain more on C, yeah, good. Uh, one point, like it, to some extent, you are ne you are near. What I'm trying to do? Ma margin, no, like it. This requires extra margin. Uh, no, I'm not shifting it as well. Market is bearish, protecting the pro. No, I'm not protecting the profit. 
now my losses actually increases protecting the profit following the trend uh, following the trend near buy uh, my i'll get more gain definitely i'll get more gain i'm not doing any trend sort of trend trend following on this case limiting the loss no never i'm not limiting my loss avoid spikes or um, maybe this comes under direction expanding the level uh, yeah obviously expanding the level uh, covering low p losses yeah you are you, you are very near i'm not remitting over here you are very near covering the p losses actually what i'm trying to do is i am literally want my delta to be what i want my delta to be what neutral okay if my delta becomes neutral can i stay in this trade for some more time can i stay in this trade for some more time yes or no okay so now expiry is a defined event or not expiry is a defined event or not so now i increase my profit pop we call it as probability of profit okay because what happens my combined premium over here see this, if this if this goes to 50 what will happen to put option if my call option come to 50 my put option will move from 100 to what it will move to 150 okay it will move to 150 so now from this point from this point of 150 my combined premium will start to increase considerably. If I add another 50 rupees of premium over here, which is the ATM, most of the time I'll be adding the ATM strike as well. So now this loss will not happen like this exponentially. This loss will happen, but like this it will go and then it will come down. Okay, so now my loss will be happening like this. It will go there and it will pass for a while. It will pass for a while because right now my delta is neutral. My delta is neutral. Right? Once my delta becomes neutral, my combined premium will not move up. My combined premium will not move up. Okay. Hope you guys understood. But I'm so sorry. This session is more like a more option oriented. Like you need to understand uh, a lot. If you, if you have a basic knowledge about options, then only it is literally possible. On the same hand, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the fourth leg stop gain equal to say 20 percent or 50 percentage. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to add two legs. Okay, so I'm going to select put option ATM and OTM2, and then I sell one leg, I buy one leg. That's it. So you can do your adjustments like this. Okay, so now you guys understood that I have given the stop gain over here. I have given the stop gain over here, but I want to take the same call option. Okay, I want to take the same call option. Okay, so what I need to change over here. I need to take the same call option, but I don't want to use this stop gain. I don't want to use a stop gain. I want to use stop, uh, stop loss of 50 percentage. Okay then what leg I need to use. Right now I given stop gain, right? But I want to have my ha happen my adjustment in the similar time. Yeah, I'll share the strategy, don't worry. Fourth leg, exactly. If I need to put loss, I need to put fourth leg stop loss equal to 50 percentage because it goes to 100 to 150. Okay, on here, what I, which leg I need to use? In order to use stop loss, which leg I need to use for put option? The third leg, exactly. Okay, so I put stop loss equal to 50 percentage. See, either way, you can just do the adjustment. Either way, you can do the adjustment. So these are the combination. Only these combinations are there. Only these combinations are available in the adjustment part. Okay, only these combinations are available in the adjustment part. 
Okay, with this combinations, you can do plenty of researches. You can do plenty of researches. And then you can configure your different, different, different sort of strategies. Okay, so what I do, I just put um, the similar strategy. Okay, so I put the 20 percentage of stop loss as well. How many trades I'm planning? How many trades I'm planning for a day? Come on, guys, type your answers in chat box. Three trades a day. Three trades a day. That's it. Everything is set fine. Okay, so now. This is the adjustment one. And then I just run the back testing. Okay. It's a very long term process. It's a very, very big, big, uh, big story, like which which I was speaking for a very long time because because I have not not yet run the back testing for it's been like more than a hard time. Okay. So how it looks like. I think so. I could just given something wrong. Just give me a moment. Mm, one minute, one minute, uh, and 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 yeah, yeah, this is only on expiry, right? So, is above oh, okay? I just given is above ADX is below ADX is below 30. No, no, I just given the ADX value now, okay? Okay, everything set fine. Uh, what is wrong? Like you can just direct me. Like what is wrong? Okay, so actually this is how it looks like. Okay, this is how it looks. Like. Oh, both I have mentioned four. Sorry. Uh, just give me a moment. Oh, I put okay, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I put fourth leg. Uh, okay. What I do? Okay, I put ah, that's wrong. It's totally wrong. I need to put third leg stop. Plus, okay, so what I do, I just cancel this. I just put whatever I do. Third leg stop gain equal to 50 percentage. Save it. Fourth leg. Fourth leg stop gain equal to 50 percentage. Save it. Done. Stop gain, stop gain. Fourth, 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 fourth. Good, 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 good. Okay, run the back test. Yeah, yeah don't worry. I'll just share the strategy. Just hold, just hold. Okay, so we should use only one strategy or we should use two strategies on this case. Okay, we need to use two strategies. Okay, this is only on expiry. I have just given it. I just save it and then copy and edit. What's the second case? Adjustment number two. What's the adjustment number two we need to use? Just come over here. Instead of crosses above, you put crosses below and then put minus 15 and then save it. And then save it and then run the back testing. Okay, but this is the one exit what we have. Okay, so we need we have only one exit in this format. What is the other exit? This is the one exit what we have. We have an another exit. So you can just see we need to combine both the strategies to make it. Okay. So actually minus 15 is well and good than the minus 85. Okay. But the cumulatively, if you just combine both, it looks totally different. It looks totally different. Okay. So now you guys would understand like there are like two strategies. One is zero uh, negative uh, negative 15 and negative 85. I'm just going to share both this link with you guys, the chat box. See, this is only the base, like what I've given. Okay, you just do your analysis and see like once you're done with this particular strategy, if you understand what I'm doing, you can do anything with the adjustment. You can do anything with the adjustments. Okay. So these are the two things like what we have discussed till now. Okay. And the same can be used for Nifty, Bank Nifty as well as Fin Nifty. No need to change anything. No need to change anything. Okay. So in order to form this as a single strategy, 
you need to use it on all the three expiry and then combine it with the single and then combine it with a single one okay and now we do have the we do have the next exit on this particular strategy as i discussed one exit is the 20 percentage of the stop loss what we have given what is the other exit the other exit is the combined premium chart the other exit is the combined premium chart so whenever my combined premium whenever my combined premium crosses above the whenever the combined premium crosses above the super trend line i'm going to exit the trade okay whenever my combined premium chart crosses above closes above the super trend line i'm going to exit the trade by doing so you will be saved a huge amount on what days on what days you will make big money you know whenever there is a v shape recovery whenever there is a w or whenever there is a m shape recovery you can literally skip these days you no need to bother about v m w anything it may be you no need to bother about it okay everything will be taken care everything will be taken care and and see like the first two trades may go and loss you no need to worry you no need to worry because you have the option you can see over here like it, i was sitting like 5000 rupees 6000 rupees of loss also but one trade if it clicks over here it will recover all the 6000 rupees of loss and this strategy is exactly similar to the option buying nature it is not an option selling strategy because the nature what involves over here is option buying because you make profit you make profit but the major profit of profitability amount comes out of only one trade if you if you take 10 trades like okay, if you take 10 trades the entire profit will come only in one trade all the remaining trades will be profit loss profit loss it will, it will be exactly like option buying it will be exactly like option buying nature okay so hope you guys understood all about the adjustments feature which is available in quantman so in adjustment features like we do have uh, we do have like we do have the first the indicators whatever we have given we can just uh, add adjustments based upon indicated data as well and then we have the individual leg wise you can just create your stop law you can create you can make your adjustment as well as based upon the strategy uh, stops or strategy profit you can do your adjustments okay these are the things which is available in quantman once you just examine once you guys understood the strategy the two strategies whatever i have shared you can do this okay yeah i just shared the link on the top okay i just oh, okay you just got disconnected sorry no problem no problem i'm just sharing it just hold up just hold for a moment just hold for a moment i'll just share it again okay the first strategy the second strategy once you're done with this then you can definitely make it big okay so how many of you want uh an, a, a brief intro about uh, insta options the the combined premium chart how many of you want uh, a, a brief intro about the combined premium chart which we give okay so i can see like everyone like to have a view right so don't worry like we'll just conduct one session for the insta options and it will be like totally exclusive guys okay so uh, I, i'll speak more about the combined premium because nowadays the timing based short straddles and strangles are literally screwing each and every one so like we need to do some sort of researches okay then only we can definitely make money in the market okay so i, I think so like we, had, we just uh done with tons of stuff today okay so i'll be uploading this video in uh quantman uh sorry in uh, dd nifty uh, or sorry in option school youtube channel okay so you can just go to option school youtube channel so i'll be uploading this video over here like we just already uploaded four videos of this early so i'll be uploading this video also um because i think i don't think so it's a small um because uh, no big edit editing is required i think so so i'll try to make it on monday itself okay i will try to upload the today's video by monday itself 
Okay, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you all for joining the session. I will be making a uh, like next week. We'll be learning more about the re-entry, re-execute, wait and trade, and then uh, move to cost. Okay, so wait and trade is not there right now. So trailing stop loss, move to cost, re-entry and re-execute. We'll be doing it. Okay. So in the upcoming or the next week, we'll be getting mid cap Nifty on uh, uh, Quantman and followed by tick by tick data, and that is going to be something very remarkable. Okay. Thank you, thank you all. Uh, actually, I just already shared the strategy. Okay, you want me to share all the strategies? Okay, don't worry. Uh, where is all the strategies? Um, actually, the, all the strategies, there are like too many strategies. Because I, I, I'm running more than 32 strategies on my account. Okay, it's going to be very hard for you guys to understand. Don't worry, like I, I have already explained the option buying strategies in these videos. Okay, so you can just have a watch on those videos and you will get like a lot of understanding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's seven lakh strategy. Just hold on. I'll just bring it for you. Yeah, I, I understand. Understand. I'm just bringing it. I'm just bringing it. The strategy which worked uh, good in the period of uh, uh, in the period of 2021 till date. Okay. This is a strategy. Sorry, actually, I just forgot it. See, like, please don't use this marketplace strategies. Okay, so I personally don't suggest it. Like, we have given tons of information over here, and uh, like, what are the strategies we use? We just discussed over here. So please try to watch that. Okay, please try to watch that. For ten lakhs with, with two adjustments. Yeah, yeah, just given it over here. I just posted the link in the chat box. Can we use for Nifty? Yeah, yeah, you can use this strategy for everything, but on the expiry day. On the expiry day, don't do it on any other day. Uh, Nifty PEST. Okay, you want a video on Nifty PEST. Nifty P is one of the very, very, very worst thing. Okay, so uh, uh, actually like the Nifty P, you know, like I, I lost 1 lakh rupees in the last two months of tenure. Uh, Nifty P. Okay, so Nifty P is, is going... Uh, beneath okay uh yesterday you shifted you shifted 30 lakhs profit uh no which one like which which one you are discussing yes like you just learn yourself and build it your own See, the equity curve, uh, whatever we have discussed right now, see, you need to come back. See, this is only on expiry day, right? You can see one thing. The expiry day is zero over here. Okay, so it is only on the expiry day I have taken. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to combine the equity curve of what are the things? Nifty, Bank Nifty, and Fin Nifty. Like this, you need to take all. And, and this be exam you will be examining only three days of a, a week. Okay, so you need to do the other part. Okay, don't worry. By next session, I'll try to do that. If I have free time, I will combine all the three and I'll create one uh, individual strategy. Because I think so, I, I, I'm able to do that. Slippage will be 0.5 percentage. And to be honest, whatever the thing I have done till now, I have zero slippage. Okay, I have a zero slippage on whatever the entries I have taken in the recent times. Okay. That's great, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, which is more risky option, selling or buying? Uh, okay, that's 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 a big question. See, uh, both are literally risky. Okay, so don't think that like each and everything has its own risk factor. Okay, so I personally prefer uh, for the beginners, option selling is good. Don't enter into option buying. Okay, but uh, but to my knowledge, uh, option buying is good to make money. But you will not have the patience to wait. You will not have the patience to wait. And if you guys want to uh, write a mail, okay, so uh, if you have any queries, you can just write me a mail to uh, dharmitharan at uh, quantman.in. Okay, you can just write me a mail to dharmitharan at quantman.in. Okay, so I'll, I'll just try to reply you guys. Okay, if you have any queries. 
thank you guys thank you all for joining the session it's really signing off for the day uh, thank you all once again so next week we'll meet and uh, we'll learn something more about uh, uh, install uh, quant man as well as install options and i'll just try to do an video for install options as well okay so we have already uploaded the four videos and this video will be uploaded by tomorrow or by monday okay thank you guys thank you all i'm just ending the session for each and everyone thank you so much you have learned something uh, today, I, I strongly believe that. Okay. Sanjit Kumar, uh, make it public. Let me just check it for you. Please, please make it fast. Actually, I have a birthday party uh, immediately after the session. Okay. Actually, they, they requested me to come at 8 o'clock, but it's already 8.20. Uh, uh, please make it public, Mr. Ranjan. Please make it public. Let me just examine it and then go ahead. Uh, how to make it public is going to be very simple uh, on the strategy you see this right private to public you just toggle this just toggle this then it will become public and once you're done uh, once you made it public please let me know mm. yeah i think so you made it public Okay, Mutu cost is enabled. Um, this strategy, uh, time of the day is equal to 9.50. Yeah, 9.50 is very good time to take the trades. The morning dramas will be settled down. Uh, sell one lot ATM PE with 30% stop loss, 30% stop loss, 30% stop loss, 30% stop loss. Buy, 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 buy. Um, oh, you're buying in the money option, but why you want to buy the in the money option? Uh, I'm not sure like why you want to buy in the money options. Move to cost is little okay, but in the money options, if you're buying, no, see, this can't be used on all the days. I'm pretty sure this can't be used on all the days. It may look green everywhere, but uh, 0 0.5 percentage of slippage. If I put still, it looks green, but uh, this will not work. Uh, why? Because uh, we are using in the money option five. So definitely that will have huge slippage. And you are selling once again in the money put option. No, see, like this is not the right way of approaching an option selling because you are trying to make money using delta. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Like, because like obviously uh, this, this is this is okay, but oh my goodness, you're using stop loss 3000 percentage. No, no, see, like there is something wrong with this. Okay, just you just drop me a mail to uh, uh, Dharnidharan at uh, quantman.in. Okay, so I just try to examine the same and then reply you over there. Okay, because this is this is something wrong, so we can't use this because you are using in the money and you use move to cost and if we use only thirty percent stop loss. Okay, so now everything uh, everything gets collapsed over here. And use and you're you're not making profit using theta, you're making profit using delta. And this this is not uh, suggested to use because that's what I said, right? I'm using it this sort of strategy only on expiry day. I'm not using this sort of strategies like iron condor on all the other days. If I if I do that right, this is how the premium looks like. You see, this is an iron condor. You see on the regular days. The premium will never erode. The premium will never erode. It will be like very, 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 very slow. Okay, it will be very, very, very slow. So please just, um, like I, I don't suggest this strategy. Okay, and the hedging cost is totally going to play a very big drama over here. Okay, it's going to play a very big drama. So please don't use this. That is my personal suggestion. So whatever is shown over here, this is okay. But still, this will not work in the real market. Because the slippage will be very high. The slippage, it may go to one percentage. Okay, so uh, if it goes to one percentage, like uh, definitely there will be some sort of impact. Because in the money, I don't suggest. And then you just imagine one thing. While you're making profit, you're using these many legs. Okay, you may, you're using these many legs. This will definitely spoil your uh, see 500 600 premiums no no it's like never ever do this strategy just imagine you're buying huge you're buying huge don't 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 use this don't use this your your expense 
your uh, your brokerage your slippage your taxes everything will eat away the profit whatever you make okay everything will eat because you see your average profit is just 5000 and the average loss is 3000 this is this is not going to be possible okay that's fine okay guys uh, thank you thank you all uh, thanks for thanks for joining today's session okay